Hello, welcome back to Photonic Luminescence, the guy that shows you lamps from all the range of the spectrum of their technologies. Today, I want to talk about this lamp. So, let's make some light and let's get started. Now, there is worth noting that I have shown you in an older video this Osram Dulux D. Now, this one is obviously as from the package two. It has a twin tube. But today I wanted to show you on I guess single tube, however you want to call, plug-in lamp. Okay, so now let's actually have a look at the lamp itself. So first though let's see the box. This is informative. So I'm going to start with this energy efficiency class for Europe. So it's G, but this is after the new standard, so this means that this is A. But this is pretty much a lot of energy saving lamps are in this range, and I'm going to now focus here. So we can see that it is using 12.4 wattage and we have here the voltage time current which is 991 volts and 180 milliamps which means that this is the voltage it is is really holding on and the temperature is 2700 Kelvin and it has a CRI of 80 above 80 uh, last 10,000 hours, which is roughly 10 years, which is actually not bad, and it has mercury of around 1.6 milligrams of mercury. So here we have it again. This means that you are not allowed to drop this. In this following schematic, it simply shows you that you need a ballast. I'm going to show you what ballast sort of type you. Um, I'm going to use. You are not really allowed to pull. It from the glass this is the front packaging it says here CCG uh, constant current and I forgot what G is so this is something for the current again we have here something internal okay that's interesting and a G23 which this is the pin this is using okay so now I'm going to unpack the bulb or I, will, I should say sort of tube so this is how the tube looks like and we have all of the information here printed on this metal sort of now this is made in China by the way and this matters because older Osrams were made in Italy but now they're made pretty much in Italy uh, China and we have here the safety signs again I mean the standards all over and again the information is a bit little printed and it says okay, that it has mercury and that's it so we have actually a pretty long tube to be honest it's pretty long and the starter is in here so we are going to see when the starter um, glows now what is important before I'm going to plug this in in power meter and I'm going to close all of the lights I want to mention the ballast thing again now, before, these lights obviously don't come like this. You usually plug them in a ceiling lamp, or even I have some lab lamp that has a ballast, but I recommend you using one of these. Now, be aware there are LED versions that don't ballast the way for this, so please be aware some um, don't buy for LEDs. This is re really made for. Um, I got this one from Amazon, it was a bit expensive, but I, for a collector that also has this lamps, I guess it's okay. So this one, you will really want one if you're using this for a retrofit, also that is made for plug-in lamps and not for, um, not for LEDs. Okay, so maybe it's not necessary because I'm going to show you how to plug these lamps in so you take the pin in 
move this, not like this, like this, the pins are like this, and then you slide this in. You hear that click, and this is anything you need to do, and now you have a CFL, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to plug this in. I'm going to plug in the power meter, and we're going to see how blink happy this is. Okay, so now I close all of the lights. Of course, we still have some light, but that's not that bad. And I plugged in the power meter. So, let's see. Because it's a fluorescent lamp, I'm going to count down and let's see. 3, 2, 1. I don't know if you actually hear this, but I'm going to try it again. Maybe leave it a little bit long. Um, I don't know if we can. Let me see. Well, it's not that easy to see now. I don't know about the sound, but what I like about this lamp specifically here is that this has an actual starter. And what I mean by that is it has one of these neon starters. So this is a starter for a fluorescent lamp. These, they are just like fluorescent lamps, only that they have the starter in between and this is pretty much where you plug this in. But it has, um, I would assume, an Argon starter, where this has absolutely no starter whatsoever. Well, it has, but just not an Argon starter, it has an electronic starter, and I really think it's cooler to see an Argon starter. But now I'm leaving the video running because it's going to need to warm up. Maybe you might have noticed but the camera auto adjusts the brightness so sometimes it looks like it's a steady brightness. Um, it still takes a bit but to be honest it's a pretty bright lamp and I like that. But considering it's wattage maybe it's not all that surprising. Again I'm going to leave it a bit but for now for a record we are around 13 watts. Um, now this is pretty accurate because um, the ballast obviously can sometimes also lose a bit something there and this is obvious and for the record my um, power meter for example has a accuracy of let's say yeah um, 0 0.5 wattage which pretty much means that this lamp will probably anyway look higher but the thing, the fact that this balance has was actually pretty good, and it reached its full brightness again. 13 watts didn't really change anything, which is good, I guess. Yes, yeah, so really good. 13 watts, not bad, and definitely it's not bad in brightness. I can say that. Now, let's say you would have to use this in a room. Would it be probably worth? Well, actually, I think it would be, but, you know, they're usually anyway in fixtures where it's expected for their brightness, but if you would use them like this light poop and you don't really know their brightness, yeah, I say for a room it works. So, yeah. Okay, so now what I also want to show you, besides the fact that it is pretty hot, obviously, I'm going to show you how to take this off. This is a bit annoying sometimes, but... Anyway, so you grab it from the metal and then you sort of get a grip on, on it. Again, it will take a little bit and if it's a bit, I'm a bit sweaty, so I'm going to try it with my, se yes, my second hand works. Not from the tube. You might disconnect the tube or maybe even break the tube and considering that this has mercury, you maybe want to stay on the safe side with this wool and not get on its mad side. Now. This was it actually all that I could put much sort of tell you. If you have any other questions about this that I have not covered, for example, I don't know, maybe a certain application you might be interested in or something like this, then please leave a comment and like this video if you also liked this light book. Before you leave, there is a QR code that if you would scan you actually get a lot of decent information so that's also a fact but subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified when I make another video about another interesting lamp. Stay tuned to find out the spectrum of our incredible technologies of right. This was it, goodbye.